If you're using Power Query to consolidate multiple files from a network folder, and now that folder is being moved to SharePoint, you might want to know how to easily change the connection to connect to that new SharePoint folder. Well, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. I'm going to assume that you've already been using Power Query to consolidate files from a folder on your network. If you haven't, I'll put a link up here to the video explaining how you do it. I'm assuming that you're now moving to SharePoint and you want to know how to change the connection. Okay, firstly, you need to get the SharePoint path. And this is probably the trickiest part of it. Let me show you what you need to do. You need to highlight everything from your URL up until the end of your name, if connecting to uh, OneDrive, or the site name when connecting to a SharePoint folder. Copy that path. Then we're going to go back into Power BI Desktop. And given I'm in Power Query already here, I'm actually just going to go New Source. And then I'm going to connect to a SharePoint folder. So I click on the SharePoint folder, give it a double click. A little box will pop up and I'll paste in that URL that I copied. And then click OK. You might have to sign in with a Microsoft account. Click Sign In. Put your credentials in, log in, and then you'll be confronted with a massive list of all your SharePoint files and folders. You will need to click Connect. The painful thing here is that you've then got to find the right folder. Now, I know the folder path contains the text folder to consolidate. So I can say contains. folder to consolidate. Click OK. And then this list should narrow down to that particular folder. And now we've found that folder, I'll actually right click on one of these and say text filter equals so that I specifically refer to this folder in my code. I can then delete this earlier step, which was really just a helper. Excellent. And now I'll re rename this as SharePoint folder. And we're almost done. You know, that is the time consuming bit, the part where you actually have to get to this folder. There is another alternative. You can go and at this source step, you can actually change this to SharePoint.contents and then drill down through documents and go down through the various subfolders. I just find that the, the end result of all that is a bit hidden. You can't clearly see the result from the, from the formula bar here. Um, this way might be a little bit slower. So you may find that doing the changing this to SharePoint.contents might actually be quicker. And then you drill down through documents, etc. Okay, so this is called SharePoint folder. Make sure that get, that gets locked in. So over here on the left, we can see SharePoint folder. And now you need to change two things. Okay, We need to go to the monthly files. This is the consolidated data that I've got set up. And we go over to the source step. And this source step is referring to the network and we just replace that. Okay, we come up here and we replace it with SharePoint folder and IntelliSense should kick in. There we go. Click enter. So that's spot number one. And spot number two is you also need to change this sample file. Okay, this sample file is also pointing to the network. So sample file and then over to the source step. And again, you just change this to SharePoint folder.
And now my monthly files should work, but it's connecting to SharePoint rather than my network. And there we go, it's loaded. If you want to use the SharePoint.contents method, I've just mocked it up quickly here. You end up in the same spot, but if you look at the navigation step, the formula bar just says the final folder name and the source step just has in the, the main folder path. So you won't, you then have to go into the advanced editor to actually see the full string of where you've navigated to, which I think is not such a good experience. But if you know this, then um, it can work absolutely fine. Hope you find it useful. Let me know in the comments. Give this a like, subscribe for next time, and I will see you later.